In this video, I wanna share some of the best things that have happened in the motion design industry this year. Some of the best animation and some of the best new resources as well. And of course, to keep things fun, the winners will receive a golden bat. And also, I haven't seen everything that happened in motion design this year. So these are just my personal opinions on things that I've really dug myself. So make sure to share and comment down below what pieces of animation and what resources as well you think deserve to be highlighted. Best animated spot. There's been so many unique and incredible individual pieces of animation this year. Some of my favorites have been the blend opening titles from Gunner, the School of Motion Manifesto from Ordinary Folk, Petrick's Moscow Coat of Arms, which is an incredible collaborative project, as is Andrew Vuko's From Nothing to Something. But my pick for best of the year is Hue and Cries Into the Flame, which beautifully combines texture, 2D and 3D elements, cell animation, beautiful design, occult imagery, and this just ticked all of my boxes. I particularly love not just the animation, but the ambition of this project, which is why it's my pick for best animated spot. Best studio. This was a no brainer. Ordinary Folk burst onto the scene this year and instantly became one of the top studios to go for amazing motion design. Started by Jorge R. Canedo Estrada or J.R. Canist, he leads a small team of the industry's best and they've just been pumping out top tier work non-stop this year. I can't imagine a studio having a better first year in business than them. Best new artist. I don't really know if anyone should be called a new artist really, but Harry Bellero was new to me this year and has been relentless in creating beautiful and hilarious 3D animation and illustrations with so much charm all in Blender as well, which I don't see too often. And I haven't enjoyed any other animated work this year as much as his. If I could only follow one artist on Instagram, it would probably be him. Now let's get to resources. Best course. Now I haven't taken this course because I haven't taken any this year and I haven't been paid to say anything about it, but I just can't go past seeing such amazing student work coming from School of Motion's Illustration for Motion Design, taught by Sarah Beth Morgan. I think that design is the most important thing in all of animation. So I love seeing more resources dedicated to the actual design and illustration coming out, not just the animation. Best YouTube channel. There's been a few awesome new YouTube channels that have caught my attention this year. Garesso is an absolutely incredible animator and motion designer, and he's posting amazing breakdowns of his workflow and some tutorials as well. For me, everything he posts is a must watch and I've learned so much from his videos. I can't recommend his channel enough. Olaf Storm is making breakdowns of his amazing work, showing the process of blending 2D and 3D work seamlessly. He's been killing it and all the videos are of high quality, so I highly recommend his channel. But my favorite, and not just because they're locals from Sydney, is Day Rates. Day Rates is a weekly show from two motion designers, one who owns the small studio Chalk Co in Sydney, and the show is about design and money, but their talk is just so open, casual, chaotic, and hilarious. And they talk really openly about the struggles of their studio and working in the industry in a way that just feels like being at a bar with mates. They're highly underrated and highly entertaining. Do check them out. The best podcast, Two specific episodes of podcasts that really impressed me this year were School of Motion's episode with Buck founder Ryan Honey. It was so interesting to hear about the beginnings of the studio that has been such a tentpole of incredible work in this industry. And also MoGraph.com's mega show, Podcast 206, with Joey Corman, Chris Doe, and Ryan Summers, which is just a huge two-hour panel discussion of the state of the industry, and I really hope they do it again next year. But the golden bat has to go to Motion Hatch, in particular for their series Making Money in MoGraph, where across six episodes, Haley talks to professionals in the motion design industry about making money in non-conventional ways, something I really think more people should know about. And this series was really inspirational to how I'm sitting on my businesses and practices. And best new software. We've had Procreate 5 launch recently with new animation tools. It's still not fully featured, but I think in a couple more updates, this could really be a contender for the best mobile animation platform. But I think the most important software has been Spark AR Studio, which is Facebook software for authoring and publishing Instagram and Messenger AR filters, which was released free to the public this year. Augmented reality, I think, will be the biggest thing to change our industry in the next few years. And with Spark AR being so accessible and user-friendly, it will likely be a gateway drug for new AR artists. I've made a short playlist of some related videos that I think you'll enjoy if you've made it this far. I'll see you in the next video, and please consider subscribing if you'd like more of these videos every week.